The Bootstrap Carousel is one of the most important components in Bootstrap 5. We have the technology to improve it, and at the same time, learn about some of my favorite new features, object position and object fit. It's time to apply. <laughs> Now, a typical Bootstrap 5 carousel cycles through a series of images. And although you can crop them to be the same proportions, sometimes you need them to fit within a specific height. The documentation tells you to add an image with a class of D block and W100. That means that it will shrink or stretch the image to whatever height will fit in the width. But what if the images aren't exactly the same height or proportions? When the image changes, so does the height of the container. Now, if you put the carousel above some content, the content beneath the images will shift as you try to read the content. Very annoying. Now, if you're familiar with how backgrounds work, you know that you can set the background size attribute to cover and the browser will proportionally resize the background to fit within the space available. You can do the same thing with a regular image using object fit. This CSS property lets you control how an element like an image should be resized within its container. There's a lot of different options here, but the one that you're interested in is the same one as the background image, which is cover. If you add the object position property, it's easy enough to center the image. I'm gonna go ahead and target my carousel and target my image. Now from here, I'm going to use the object fit as well as object position. I'm also going to modify the height so that it's 50% of the viewport's height. And just in case, I'll set the overflow to hidden. Now the image centers and fits in the space allotted proportionally. That's what I'm talking about. The object fit and object position properties have pretty good modern browser support as well. So you can use them like you would a background image whenever you need to fit an image to a container. Another problem happens when you want to put some text on top of an image, but the color of the image and the text are too similar. So the text disappears. That's when adding a gradient can come in handy. Now, the best way to do this is to add the gradient on top of the image, but behind the caption so that you can still select the text in the caption. To do that, we can use the before pseudo element selector. Now, it's sort of like adding an extra element before an existing element, and then adding the gradient to that element. We'll start by targeting the element containing the image. That should be the carousel item, but we'll also add the before pseudo class here. Let's go ahead and add the content keyword that tells the browser that this element will take up some space. Now we can add a background gradient. This will be a linear gradient for us. We'll go from the top to the bottom and then start with a transparent color and we'll go to an RGB color of 50% black. To make the gradient show up, we'll need to make this a display element of block and also change the position of the element to be absolutely positioned. That way this gradient will move relative to its parent container, which will be the image. We'll also need to pass along some positioning parameters. Now you can see that that gradient appears on top of the spoon, but behind this text so that we can still select it if we want to. Now that's some great improvements you can make to the Bootstrap 5 carousel with some simple CSS.